Today on Hands On Photography, we're going to dig into the hardware side of photography. And nope, it's not the camera. <laughs> You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. This is Twit. This episode of Hands On Photography is brought to you by Hover. Whether you're a developer, photographer, or small business, Hover has something for you to expand your projects and get the visibility you want. Go to hover.com slash twit to get 10% off your first purchase of any domain extension for the entire first year. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and this is Hands On Photography here on Twit TV. Hey, I hope y'all are doing well. I am unbelievable as always. As usual, each and every Thursday, I like to sit down and share different tips and tricks that are going to help make you a better photographer and a better post processor. And every now and then I get the opportunity to sit down with the guests. Or there's times like this week where I get to go through your feedback that you have sent in to me. But before we get into that, allow me to say welcome to all of our brand new listeners that are finding hands on photography for the very first time. Welcome to you. Thanks for hopping on over here. Hey. Go ahead and subscribe in whatever podcast application you're enjoying this on. We're available on all of them. If you go to our website, twit.tv slash hop, that's twit.tv slash H-O-P for hands-on photography. You'll see that we're available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, um, uh, YouTube, Google, and that's available in both audio and video versions. So, yeah, I know I have a lot of you folks that listen to this show more so than watch it, which is quite fascinating to me considering this is a visual show. But hey, I appreciate the support either way. Hey, and if you're subscribed in, say, Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please be sure to leave me a rating and a comment so we can continue to be pushed up in the wonderful algorithmic world of podcasts so more folks can find hands on photography. I appreciate the support and all of the love and sharing it out. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's episode. OK, so I got some email that was sent to the show. That's hop at twit.tv. You can always send your emails there with uh, uh, image critiques and feedback and questions and so forth. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this email. This email comes from Charlotte and it reads, I have an Apple, but I'm looking for a PC for holding and editing my photos only. I don't want to spend a lot of money at this time because I just got this mid February. I have an area to set up to transfer my pictures or scan them also to do video transfer and editing. What are the best ones that won't cost me an arm and a leg? Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> you know, these questions um, come in. They're always pretty fascinating because people will say things like I'm looking for this product or that product but I don't want it to cost me a lot of money or I'm looking for this product and that product, but, but what's the cheapest or, you know, it, it's, it's all these relative terms. And my first response to you, Miss Charlotte or Mr. Charlotte, whomever you are, um, what is your budget? Cause that's what really makes a difference. Nowadays you can spend a gazillion dollars on a product and it'd be absolutely useful for you, you know, or it could be a total mess. And you're like, why did I spend so much money? And this thing is not doing everything that I needed to do. Uh, so basically find out what your budget is when it comes to to computers, especially on the Windows side of things and content creation, man, that you can spend a lot of money on these computers and you really don't have to. Or you could get to a point where you're not spending quite enough. So for me, since I am a Windows user, I swear, I think I'm the only Windows person um, at Twit Studios that's like all day, every day using Windows. For me, I, I've found a, a decent sweet spot uh, anywhere roughly between like 700 bucks to a thousand dollars far as buying hardware to do legit photo editing and storage as well as doing um, video editing, not necessarily hardcore video editing, but just enough. OK, uh, so from a spec standpoint, that's the main thing you need to look at. You're going to have to find something on the Intel side of thing or the AM AMD side of things. But most people tend to lean towards Intel. More power to you. Um, 
starts somewhere along Intel Core i7 or i9. i7 is going to be a little bit cheaper. And memory, RAM, you want to get at least 16 gigs of RAM. That's that's as low as you're going to go. Don't go any lower than 16 gigs of RAM. If you can get up to 64 gigs, do it. But again, you're going to spend a little bit more on that. Storage wise, as far as running the operating system, most of the, the lower priced um, laptops or desktop computers are going to give you some type of 512 gigabyte uh, SSD to start out with. And that's fine. But if you're going to be storing a lot on there, you, you know, that's not enough. You need to have at least one terabyte. Uh, if you're going to be installing a lot of apps, you need at least one terabyte. So that's something to consider. But if you're going to just set it up as like a workstation to sit off to the side and you're possibly going to have network attached storage with it, then sure, go ahead with the 512. But I, I would recommend, you know, a terabyte at least, especially this day and age with applications. Oh man, this episode of Hands On Photography is brought to you by Hover. It's time to make plans and let Hover help you achieve them. Yes, you're a Hands On Photography listener, so you're probably a blogger or you're trying to create some form of a online portfolio, just trying to build an online store, or better yet, you're probably just trying to, you know, have a better redirect for your LinkedIn page. Well, Hover has the best domain names and email addresses that are just for you. Email at your domain name is key to connecting customers and building trust with your brand. Look, y'all, please, please don't start using emails that are like your name at hotmail.com or your name at AOL.com. Get yourself a domain. Hover's got you covered. They have domain based emails for all your needs, small or large. It's so easy to set up. You can add as many mailboxes to your domain as you need. And when your domain renews, your mailbox is renewed too. It's easy as that. The prices are unbeatable. Their most popular mailbox is a no brainer solution for business owners. You can get access from anywhere. Use your own email app that you're used to using or just log in via webmail. That's the thing. Hover makes all of this really, really easy to do. Just being able to get set up with a domain and their customer services right there to help you get squared away with setting up your email accounts. I love that. Hover isn't here to upsell you on the stuff that you don't need. They just want to help. They have pro level tools, uh, powerful domain and email management tools that are intuitive and easy to use, whether you're a web pro or just getting started private and secure with who is privacy protection included in your domain purchase. Your private information will remain just that private. It's a great way to reduce spam and protect yourself from unwanted solicitations, man. And that stuff drives me nuts. (laughs) I'm so glad they're out there fighting for us. Hover connect lets you pick the service you want to use to build and host your website. Connect helps you start using your domain name with just a couple of clicks at Hover, your customer and not a source of data. Take back control of your data with reliable tracker free email. Hover is trusted by hundreds of thousands of customers who use their domain names and email to turn their ideas into a reality. Whether you're a developer, photographer or small business, Hover has something for you to expand your projects and get the visibility you want. Now, go to hover.com slash twit to get 10% off your first purchase of any domain extension for the entire first year. That's hover.com slash twit for 10% off your domain extension for a full year. And we thank Hover for their support of the show. For me, uh, I use a MSI workstation laptop for all of my computing needs when I'm not sitting here in the home studio. In my home studio, I have a custom built um, computer that I did, boy, handful of years ago. And it's probably a little bit long in the tooth and I should look into upgrading this at some point. Uh, But that's neither here nor there. But yeah, I've been using for most of my work stuff. I use this MSI 
laptop and they have been doing a lot of things for content creators over the years. Uh, like right now I'm looking here on Amazon and they have this MSI modern 15 fan and light daily laptop. And it's a 15 inch screen and it's only 1080p on the display, which is fine when you're looking at it at 15 inches. And it's totally fine for, for editing photos on the screen that size in HD. And this one is clocking in at under a thousand dollars at the time of recording. This is seven hundred and seventy three bucks. And from the spec standpoint, you get 16 gigs of RAM, you're getting the Core i7 processor and you're getting half a terabyte on storage. So you're pretty much checking off all of the boxes right there. Uh, where things start to get expensive when dealing with the Windows side of things is the graphics cards. So if you're doing integrated graphics on a laptop, you're not spending as much money most of the time. But if you start to dive into the NVIDIA GTX series or RTX series uh, graphics cards, that's who that's when the prices are going to come up. But there's a reason for that. It's because they're great. They are fast and they really do well with image processing, especially if you're processing raw uh, image files. So you have to consider that. And that's when you're probably going to start looking at something costing at least a thousand dollars right out the gate. So just keep that in mind. Another uh, resource that I like to lean on is, is some people that I've dealt with in the past and they've actually been on the Twit network before. Not a sponsor. This isn't an ad for them, but I, I, I give them their credit. And that's the folks at Puget Systems. Uh, PugetSystems.com. They're up near the uh, Seattle area here on the uh, Pacific Northwest. They have a lot of different solutions for content creators out there. Um, in addition to other visual professionals like in engineering and things like that. And they, they're going to walk you through setting up a computer that's going to work really well for you. Now, keep in mind, with that said, <laughs> it's a premium on that. But at the same time, you know, you're going to get a system that's just going to be rock solid and it's going to last you for for a lot of years because they're, they're, you're investing at the time. You're going to have a case. Yeah, and these are all desktop computers. You're going to have a case that's going to be ridiculously quiet. The fans are going to be quiet. It's going to have optimal cooling, whether it's liquid cool or air cooled or anything like that. Optimal RAM uh, processing. The, the graphics cards, they're going to have all of that stuff right there. And you're not necessarily going to have to worry about um, trying to hunt down a graphics card that's being overpriced on the, the black market by 3x, you know. But again, you're still going to pay a bit of a premium for the product because there's, there's good stuff. And they, they, they're, they're marketing it towards content creators, you know not just video folks, but also photographers because, hey, yes, I am an Adobe Lightroom user, but Lightroom is a bit of a bear on computers. You need legit RAM. You need legit processing. You need legit hard drives to be able to access your files in the catalogs because it'll be really, really slow if your hard drives are slow. And Puget Systems, they know that. So, Check them out. That's some, someone that I would recommend to get started with. And we'll put links into the show notes um, so you can find them. Or if you just follow them on social media or whatever, tell them you saw the mention of, of, of them over on Hands On Photography. And they'll, they'll be quite familiar with you and, and show you a lot of love. I'm pretty sure of it. All right. So that's going to do it for this week's episode. I hope this was quite helpful for you. Again, thank you for sending this email over to me. And and um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, feel free to send a message to hop at twit.tv. Again, if you're curious to have your images shown on the show, uh, I can't say I'll show all of them. But if I if you do want to, if you don't have a problem with the images being shown on the show, be sure to mention said images can be shown inside of your email. So I have your consent. Okay. Uh, yeah. Give me a follow on Instagram. I am at underscore prude over there. Follow me there. I'm trying to get the follower count up over there and I'm having a lot of fun continuing to post my images and videos of Kylo and biscuit. Kylo's over here snoring right now. Yeah. I don't hear that. Fortunately, um, and, uh, yeah, just give me a follow on social media and I love hearing from you folks and tag me in your images 
um, just in case you share something that's pretty cool and I happen to miss it, tag me there so I can check it out and give you a like and comment and so on and so forth. Shout out to my man, Mr. Victor, for making me look and sound good each and every week on the show. And shout out to all of you that continue to help grow this community and sharing the show out with everybody else that you know. Tell them, hey, go check out Hands On Photography with Aunt Pruitt. You're going to love it. That really does mean a lot to me, folks. All right. That's it for this week. You all continue to safely create and dominate. And I'll see you next time. Listeners of this program get an ad-free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad-free versions of all of our shows, plus membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, The Giz Fizz, and more. Go to twit.tv slash club twit. And thanks for your support.